Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alex and this is The Car Creative and today is a really cool day. We get to go shoot a Tesla P100D L with like ludicrous mode and all this stuff. So uh, the guy got in touch with me yesterday and just asked, he's like, hey man, I really like how you edit your photos. Is there any way you can give me like a little tutorial? And I said, well, he conveniently owns a Tesla. So I was like, you know what? You take me in your Tesla, show me launch mode and uh, I'll teach you how I edit my photos. So. <laughs> we went, we shot his car, we showed him in his car using the iPad how I edit my photos so he can learn right on the go and learn how I do it. But it was really cool to kind of share knowledge. He got to share his car with me and my brother and uh, it was just a great day. So I'm going to show you guys all that footage and then show you kind of how we walk through the edit as well. So stick around. Bring the car forward a little bit. He's gonna use uh, what do you call it? The summon, the yeah. summon feature, and then he's gonna bring it towards us. So, <laughs> it's so it's nice. Your phone, eh? Holy <laughs> crap! Doing it for the gram, right? <laughs> sure. So the biggest thing for me when I'm editing photos is maximizing. I come from like a, a video background, right. so I wanna maximize kind of like my exposure. Cause in video, you never really see anything blown out, right? So I'm always trying to like preserve highlights and and then bring a lot of detail out of the shadows. So the first steps that I'll do is in the light meter, is I'm always gonna bring my shadows up, like crank in my shadows. Cause we're trying to get details back from like the rims, from the grill, Kind of like those deep, mm -hmm. deep detail areas, and if you're editing on your light on your computer, you'll get a lot more out of it. And then I always preserve highlights, and that's kind of up to you how far you want to go. On this one, I'm like looking at the hood to make sure that I'm still getting a good amount of contrast. Decent start, and for me, I like my shots moody, so I really start by pulling out the saturation until it looks badass. That's when I stop. Yeah. Like the second I, I see it, it's like, okay, it looks really cool. Then I stop. And then from there, I go in to pull my colors back. So do you use like the hue and saturation stuff mm -hmm. in there? Um, so for fall, I'm going to take the yellows and turn the hues a bit more red. I'm going to take the greens and I'm going to definitely make them like way more red. Here, do you use selective edits much? Okay, this is where this is this is usually where most people stop, right? Like if I if you paid for like my presets or mm -hmm. something, which I don't have yet, they'll come eventually. But if you paid for them, you just slap that on and be like, cool, that looks good. But what people aren't doing is like going in and doing these next steps. So here we're gonna actually circle. This is I don't know if this is called a radial filter. We're gonna circle over your car, hopefully. If the iPad will let me. Make sure that the feather is as light as possible so we're not getting like too much around it. And then from here, we're gonna go in and then boost that exposure up again. So you just kind of go until you're happy. Now the big thing with this is like the more exposure you the more you like washed out your car is gonna look. So you need to keep making that contrast come back in. If you go too bright and then pump that contrast back. And you can see where that takes us. Or after it's looking pretty good yeah. and then detail work right so we're gonna come in go into selective edits here so I wish my Apple Pencil was working and we're gonna go add some exposure here see where that's gonna take us and then we're just gonna brush that light in so I'm just gonna come into the rims and just do this extra work so this is like Car photography actually takes a lot of time. Mm -hmm. People don't think that it does, but like I spend... It's not gonna be just... I spend 20 to 30 minutes on every single mm -hmm. photo. So yeah, like, yeah. when people are like, can you just come shoot my car? I'm like, it's a, it's a serious like, yeah. <laughs> endeavor to come shoot my car, right? <laughs> but I really enjoy it, so... But this is honestly the thing that like makes your car photography stand out and what will make your, your stuff stand out. So I'm just trying to find like the cool details of the vehicle that I really wanna see 
and I go and just brush that in. If I was doing this professionally, I would take a lot more time. Mm -hmm. This is just a quick edit. I think we'll leave that shadow in there. Logo. And so that's called dodging. That's right, adding light. And then because we have selective here, we can actually just like add as much or as little as we want. So we'll just kind of keep it subtle. And then another thing you can do is we'll add one more brush and we're actually gonna take away light, which is gonna add kind of more aggressive lines on the shadows. So this one you wanna be pretty subtle with, but like kind of here on the hood where it's like adding those lines, we're just gonna go in and accentuate those lines. Okay, so this next one is huge. This one I love is adding light to create depth. So it's like kind of flat right now, but you can see the sun's coming from over here. Mm -hmm. So we're actually gonna add a graduated filter to accentuate where the sun's coming from. Okay. Have you used a graduated filter before? No. So it's kind of, in Lightroom, it's in like the top right panel on like the rectangle box. Um, and what we're gonna do is just kind of boost this up a bit just to accentuate where the sun's coming from. And it's just adding depth, right? It just makes it look like more is happening in the photo, I guess. And then one last filter, we come in from the bottom. And you'll see this on a lot of like cool car photography is they'll kill some of the light. Kill the light so that you're focused on the car. Okay. And then on this one, you can actually go into your effects. So you, the clarity slider mm -hmm. is a really cool one to use because it'll bring back a lot of the detail that's on that floor. Freaking nice car, dude. <laughs> Thanks. So yeah, that's how you edit on an iPad in a Tesla. Okay, so we just got our photos here at this location with all the fall trees around. It's looking so, so slick. We got into the Tesla P100D and we started editing our photos in there. So, but now, I don't know. I have seen Teslas on YouTube. I have never seen them live. And this guy is going to take us out and we're going to go do launch mode. We're going to do some rollers. Roller coaster. Oh my god. And like throws you into your seat. Oh. <laughs> that is crazy. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright. What a day that was so cool. Launch mode is so insane. So thank you so much to Kevin for taking us out in your Tesla. Thank you Chad for helping me film today and doing some photography. It was so cool. Tesla is just, it's one of the most unique cars and I, I think I'm convinced. Kevin just showed us so many cool features. So if I ever have like over a hundred grand or something, spare change, I might get one. It's a long ways away. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this. I hope that you were able to learn something about how I can edit and how you can edit your photos on mobile using your iPad or your iPhone or whatever you've got just to make your photos look banging good. So yeah, if you guys like this kind of content, hit that like button, subscribe if you like more content like this. And otherwise guys, we will see you in the next one. Peace.